The MPP has selected some people from the creative arts industry to be the ones, you know, creating the committee to help point out what are the problems for the creative art industry for the manifesto Baumia is about to drop and <laughs> now um, some mafias are after shatawali i don't know what is going on uh, what, what is happening in that sector but we'll talk about that as well it's quite an interesting conversation there's also a bit of asamwajan also um being the head of the committee in charge of the We'll talk about that. We'll talk about all of that. And Omale is causing problems in people's homes. And there's also a problem with Hadia Forero. Let's talk about all of that. Welcome to the show. My name is Tilia Kenipa. Please, once you are here, do subscribe to the channel because I realize that a lot of you watching my show are new people who haven't subscribed to my channel. So I'm very excited to have you here. So subscribe to my channel and let's get on to it. Now, Asamoah Jan was trending heavily simply because Baumia's manifesto committee, the I mean, manifesto that he's about to draw he had to create subcommittees for every sector who would advise him on what to do and what to put in and he selected um as someone as the head for the sports and then so they will create a committee and then he will be the head and then he will be the one to point out and of course there was a lot of conversation a lot of backlash politics it's entry politics this, this that kind of thing then as someone came out to write something that if we want to talk about problems and we don't want to go near it and be part of the solution process how do we want things to change also he feels like he's done some good years in sports and he he has some good tricks and good advice on his sleeves to be able to give to any party that wants his help so he doesn't see anything wrong with that and personally i don't see anything wrong with that i mean and Samajan sits on big platforms to share his mind, give commentary about sports and what is happening. So why not have his great input in things that we think that will benefit the sports industry in our own country? So to me, I think it was a good deal. Also, um, for the creative arts sector, the leader for the committee has been Juliet Asante, who is the um, NFA film ghana film authority their head and then she is the head of the subcommittee for the tourism together with mr ajeman from the ghana tourism authority and dow george Kui. Uh, if you want a well-rounded person in the creative arts industry unless of course maybe they call george Kui and he turned it down or he was not going to be available but i don't i don't think because come on george Kui has knowledge in the music side he has knowledge in the stage movie like i feel like it's well-rounded effect and you know the pr everything the sponsorship side of the entire creative side the business side the policy side i think he has a general outlook well as i said this is my own prerogative that this is what i think moving on um omale is causing problem in people's homes Omale is causing problems in people's homes. Now, Omale had a show in London and a girl went, in fact, a guy paid for tickets uh, with his girl. They went and Omale, you know that thing he's been doing? You know, I told you that Omale did a certain video in Amsterdam where he was grinding some girl. This girl, you went with your boy, you and your boy were standing front and then Omale called you and this lady went and the things Omale did on stage with this lady. After the show, the boys have left the girl. It's like it has become a whole conversation. People are saying that it's not a girl's fault. She was Chale, it's Omale. But also saying that the girl, the girl did not respect the guy. It's a lot of conversation. To me, I just feel like if you know you are going to do something like that, I feel like, yes, in as much as they want to give fans an experience, what the fans to be a part of the show. I think if you are going to do something like that, usually you have a dancer you do that with, a backup dancer you do that with. Yes, I know a lot of stars also try to get people in the audience, but this girl should have known her limit. I mean, you are with somebody. Like, I, I can imagine how embarrassing it would be for the guy. How embarrassing it would be for the guy. But, um... These are all things that happen and I, I am sure the girl has learned her lesson and I'm sure now the the boy <laughs> the boy there yeah, people say you will never win any argument in his life again because anything he will talk about they'll say don't be you overly chop your overly overly clear your girl for stage that kind of thing but I just think that certain certain things if you want to do them it's better you have a dancer you are doing a trained professional you are doing that with or somebody planted in the audience you are doing that with so that it doesn't come off to be problematic but this time the girl to i guess she also has some part to 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 own in there now some mafias are online and they are saying say shatawale diomuka shatawale diomuka because they've done some dirty job for wale 
And Wale is saying that he doesn't know anything about this mafia guy because he and that Wale went live and he said that he does he know them? Do they know the mafias he has sorted out? The mafias he has he has transported to another part of the world. Now my thing is that Wale did whenever something comes up and he has to clear himself in a way that we all appreciate and understand him, then he starts imp- implementing himself and saying things that are like. Bro, what you are saying is very questionable. Do you know that? That kind of thing. Like, how do you say do you know the mafias have traveled? Why would you travel? What? <laughs> Why would you be expecting? Uh, expecting? Why would you be, you know, flying mafias out? So Why would you be doing that? Like, why would you even say that? There are some things you don't say them. Even if you want to clear your name, you don't say certain things. It just implements you and makes you look worse. Nonetheless, Samuel Flex has spoken about it and he, he said he was he has been on call with Shatawale. Eh, Shatawale doesn't know anybody or any of these people. Also, um, he's tried to reach out out of the guys that he's been with from day one, thinking that maybe if anything, maybe he will have some deals with them, but the guy too says nothing. And the way they are saying they want, he wants to meet them at um, Mr. Abba Sariki's house, and then if they've done any job for him, he'll sort them out. And I'm saying that if you haven't done any job for them, or if they haven't done any job for you, why do you intend to settle them instead of possibly, I mean, looking for other ways to clear your name or make it look like, no, I don't have any affiliation. Then why do you want to settle them? That is my question. Why do you want to settle something that you know that I have no business with? Or it could also be that he just doesn't he just doesn't want that conversation circulating online. So if you think I owe you, I mean for peace sake, if you say I owe you, okay, I'm paying you off, go away, that kind of thing. But they say they want they want Shatawale to take two of them abroad. Hey, <laughs> after you've come to show your face that you are mafious and you do the two job. You think that you go to the embassy and they don't say yes because it's wallet so go come on if you stop the joke <laughs> nonetheless uh, another person that is having problem with um outside there is mona farrell mona farrell has pled guilty to romance scam and using her, her accounts as a means for you know money for from these scams being passed through now my, my it has been a, a big conversation a whole conversation my thing i'm always going to say is that not all that glitter is gold or not, not all that glitters is gold and sometimes all that glitters is gold some people have years of work put in whatever they are doing that you are seeing now so if you're a young lady especially a lot of young ladies now are into hookups because they see a certain life that certain stars are living they don't know what went into that life they are living now whether it was pure hard work they've put in years before social media became a thing that they are now ripping off or if there's something they have done shady in the past that they are just showing you the end results so why don't you live according to your means a lot of young girls now are into hookup because they are trying to live a certain life that a certain star that has done years of work or has done something shady and is ripping off now is doing they want to match up please cut your coat according to your size mimbo me tea that is my natural hair i am not a dead i'm not dead i'm still pretty you can do your sh- whatever you want to do without makeup you can do don't you don't have to always um uh, stretch yourself thing just because you want to fit in if you have to stress yourself and if you have to stress and do be part of certain life just to live a certain life or be recognized in a certain group you don't belong there and you only spend your life doing the worst just to be, be just to stay in that position please be yourself also i just feel like um we should look closer to people that uh, they, they advise young people sometimes their lives are not all that truthful so we see them jumping on interviews, going on platforms, schools, inviting them to, to talk to young girls, making it look like they have done some work. Please, sometimes it's not true. Somebody can say, I sold Gary for one month and I, w- I made my first $1 million. Bro, who are you kidding? <laughs> Charlie, be serious with you here. That kind of thing. So, yeah. Some people have genuinely put in the work and others, they, they just haven't. So, not all that glitters is gold. Or not that not all that glitter is gold so please be vigilant and do what you can do within your means a lot of hookups now is because young girls are living above their means oh yeah juma oh you see iphone are you okay like <laughs> how would you sustain your life <laughs> okay now um finally afronita is in ghana they posted a picture with her manager now abongo nelson she's in ghana after her auditions and everything in the uk she's back in ghana and so let's wait to see how this British got talent thing on foes, but I have a feeling she did astoundingly well over there. And I know this is going to be a big springboard into the next phase of the good things that God 
a life has in stock for Afronita. So I'm very excited and I know her fans are also thrilled to have her back. And also, I know Medical will be performing in the O2 very soon. So I know her dream of performing at the O2, if they link up with Medical, something good can happen with that. So let's move on to Palabra del Día. I want to show you how to say I like you in Spanish. And in Spanish, if you want to tell somebody I like you, you just have to say me gustas me gustas so me gustas in espanol is i like you so just subscribe to the channel press the bell icon and if there's anything you have to do do it now hasluja